Hi, you guys. Oh my God, these lights again. How is everybody? How are you all? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh. Every night, every night it's the same. Does this ever stop? No, it never stops. How is everybody? Never, never stops with this shit, with this stupid ass thing. Okay. Um, all right. I guess that's as good as it's going to get in my life here. Hi, you guys. How is everyone? Is everyone good? Good, good, good. Hi, from Texas. Yeah, how is everybody? Okay, super good. Good, good. I woke up from my nap. I can't stop sleeping. I think I'm severely depressed. <laughs> So I cannot stop sleeping, Yar. I'm I slept. I can barely function. I sleep so much. So it's uh rather rather depressing, isn't it? Kind of. Hi from Cranbrook, y'all. Y'all in Cranbrook. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm getting bored and tired. Is everybody else getting bored and tired, or is it just me? I'm looking for my headsets. Is it just me or I'm getting, I, I really can't function. Like I barely can function. So I'm trying to function. Now I can't find <laughs> two little ear pods standing by themselves with no home again. So uh, no, I, I have to sleep all the time. I literally do a reading, then I have to sleep, then I do a reading, then I have to sleep, then I do a reading and then after I finish working, I sleep four more hours. I'll be up for an hour. I'll go back to bed, and then that's it. Of course, I have depression. Why would I not? Um, yeah, I'm just, of course. I think it's depression, y'all. Um, that's what I think. And your feet are swelling. Oh, no, I don't have that right now. Or, uh, yeah, so anyway... Um, no, it's not that. I have no problem moving. It's, I think it's just, I don't know what it is. Um, I'm just exhausted trying to do everything. It's just, you know, whatever. It's really exhausting and no backup, you know, no backup at all. So it's kind of exhausting, um, which there's many people like that. There's a lot of people, a lot of people like that. I'm sleeping. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I cannot get out of bed. I just literally put my makeup on right now. I had no makeup on all day. I got up at four after I finished work at one and slept till four, got out the door, did two errands, came back, didn't even cook dinner, just ate popcorn. Now I'm doing this. Now I'll go back to bed in an hour. Yeah, well, the re yeah, of course he slept. He was a sleeping prophet. He slept all the time. Yeah, well, I'm trying to, but I'm so far behind on everything. It's exhausting. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, vitamin D. I have vitamin D. I did not watch the Super Bowl. I would never watch the Super Bowl. I think Aurora, Ontario. Yeah, Williams. I went to Williams for a split second. Williams, Dr. G. Williams High School. You know it because it's in Aurora. I went there for a Paquito moment. Um, Paquito. I was kicked out of private school, so I showed up at Williams. Then I ran away from home from Williams. I was 13 turning 14. I ran away from home. I was in school there. And that's what I did. You're from Ontario, too. There you go. So, yeah. And then I ran away. And, yeah, I get a lot from hiking. But, yeah, it's never-ending work. Yeah, it's just now it's just I work around the clock and I can't get people to hear me and I can't get them to whatever. It's just it's annoying. Um, but anyway, wake up two or three menopause. Yeah, I know about menopause. <sighs> don't give a shit about that. Yeah. You know what with menopause? Just I don't know what to say with menopause. It just happens. You know, men go through it too. It's menopause, it's not just womanopause, it's menopause. Um, yeah, I'm just fucking exhausted with everything. Timmins, Ontario. I'm running away from Canada. Yeah, I ran away a long time. Oh my God, honey, I'm sorry. Your grandson passed away. Oh, that's so, I'm sad about that for you. I'm so sorry. It's horrible. It's horrible, please. I don't have a doctor. I've never gone to a doctor in my adult life with the exception of surgeries. 
Um, I don't have medical insurance. I don't go to the doctor. I know everybody else does in America. That's how we're taught, but I don't believe in them. So no, I believe in them if I want to. <laughs> I believe in them if I want to, but yeah, not, um, meaning, you know, you go to the doctor, you're in a cycle, you're in a constant cycle. They want you at my age, they want to do colonoscopy, breast cancer, da, da, da. I don't care. So what do you say to the doctor? I don't give a shit if I drop dead. And then they say, well, you need to, we need to prevent this. Why? You're not going to be looking after me if I'm sick. Why do you need to prevent what happens to me if I'm sick? Because <laughs> you ain't fucking showing up at my door. You're just charging $400 an hour to say that I showed up four times a year because I'm a senior or whatever the fuck I am right now. No, uh-uh. Yes, I run every day. I never stop running. I run every single day of my life, minus a few. Um, so how far I'm far from them, <laughs> but yeah, no, that they don't talk to me anyway. When I was down the street, I, I didn't see my son for an entire year. So it doesn't matter. It's men. Oh, pause. Yeah. It's like ditch the men. But what I'm saying is the, the, um, the, uh, medical system is geared for you to keep going to them. Like, preventative for what you're gonna die anyway so what are you preventing oh you caught the cancer you lived another 10 years fantastic yeah i don't care um so it's kind of interesting <laughs> it's kind of interesting that they do i do not do pap smears no i do not uh -uh. no i don't it, i was 20 something years just before keith died i did a pap smear maybe five years before he died and that was the first time since before I had them, I never did one after. I don't do them. Like for what? What is the doctor going to say? Here's what they say. Oh, you have an abnormal pap test. You need to get it checked. That's another 400 bucks. After you have a baby, they're like, oh, your breast tissue is really dense. It's at, no, I do not eat red meat. It's a, um, it's a thing in your boobs. I mean, come on, come on, come on. Um, yeah, no, well, I'm not, just stay out of my crotch, stay out of my hooch, no. They just like doing that. I mean, it can save you. No, I don't take my asthma medicine. I have not taken it in, since I'm 21. My last huge major attack was at 21. I do not take any, um, I don't take anything. No, I just don't. Uh, you know, hot flashes are the bodies. Yes right? Well, hip surgery is different. Hip surgery, like you need your hips done. If I break something, I'll go. But yeah, oh my God, I'm alive. That's good for you that you're alive. I wouldn't care if I died of cancer. I mean, I don't care. That's what I'm saying to you. I don't care when I was 20 and I don't care now. So, you know, my, like, who cares? You do. That's good. I don't. That's just, I take vitamins. I take my vitamins. But what I'm saying is some people believe in being alive. I f don't feel the same way as other people. However, I also, you know, cervical cancer and things like that. If you're young and you want to do that, then check your, do that, right? Um, do whatever you want to do, you know, check it out every week. As long as you feel better from not having the cancer, that's good. You know, cancer can be debilitating if, if, you have it and you don't know and it goes unannounced however you die pretty quick so like you're dead so who cares after you're dead <laughs> like you're here this is not this is if you like it here good so you know i don't know what to say um some people like it here it's good for your family if if you like that that like you know what i'm saying but i know people who literally no, it's not Pluto in my chart. No, um, you moved to Canyon Country. I like it up there. I felt empty without my sisters. Yeah, I, I, I like Canyon Country. No, I don't think they shot down aliens. <laughs> I don't. <coughs> I don't think they. They. Um, I love for the first time in my life. I want to stay. Yeah, I'm glad you love. That's not happening for me either. I mean, it's done. It was done for me at 20. I was born at 20 on this planet, okay? At 20. I got married early to do the family thing and everything, but, you know, I could do without it, really, quite frankly. But having said that, people like it, right? So, yeah, my nails are nice. When I die in the coffin, the nails look good. The nails are good. But, uh, 
Yeah, I let's see, disappear with a British woman near the river. Oh God, hello, why don't they check her husband? Nobody's removing the British woman near the water except for a family member who hates her guts, which is very typical. Um, I had fun and bang, yeah, um, that's why we need to go on a date. <laughs> I'm never dating. Oh, why do you people say that? Oh my God, no. Um, yeah, I got married at 19 too and then married again at, well, married again at 24. But uh, yeah, married and divorced at 19, turning 20. Uh, big, big, Madonna's a Satanist, a Satan, a demon. Madonna's a demon. She's a puffy faced demon. That when you see what this planet is, I don't know why you would want to stay here. <laughs> <coughs> no, why, Joseph, stop with the, are these lessons you have to learn? I'm going to say this again. I'm, I'm, I cannot express this enough. If I hear any more of the spiritual community saying, saying, ever saying, oh, you had to, thank you, Bobby. You had to learn a, you had to learn a lesson. You, you know, that's what you had to do. I'm going to say it again. Please tell me if a baby is eight years old, six years old, eight months old and gets murdered, what lesson is the baby learning? I just need to understand that because it can be said for the baby too. Is that the lesson the baby needed was to be raped and murdered? No. So this planet is full of non-lessons. Um, it's full of torture for some reason. That's what I feel. Oh, shit. Thank you, uh, Sloan. Uh, I have it on you know, my son. Can't wait for a reading. I don't know if it's bad, honey. Thank you for that. I don't know if anything's bad. I mean, you're on Earth, so by definition, you must have been a bad person like the rest of us here. We've been kidnapped here. I don't think there's I don't think there's lessons on this planet. 29th is the anoretic degree, so it's a very particular degree. I believe it's a homicidal degree in Taurus. I have to actually look that up, but I think Taurus at 29 is the homicidal degree, which means you can murder or the opposite, you know, both sides, right? So um, <clears throat> I don't believe about soul contracts either. I don't believe that. I don't agree. I, I know me as a soul. I don't agree. Like you can say soul contracts. It's a really easy way to say to people, yes, there's a soul contract. You have to do bullshit. I don't agree to it. What? <clears throat> Tell me the traffic kids, <coughs> excuse me, the traffic kids that are trafficked from age four on by their friend. What kind of soul contracts? That, oh, please, please send me down there so I can be trafficked and raped. What kind of soul contract? Tell me, tell me what that is. There isn't. That's a lie. That is a lie. That is a lie that they do that. Um, yeah. That's just a lie. And all of the stuff that they say is not really what's going on. What I believe is going on. Hi, Ashley. Um, mm. What I actually believe is going on is I believe. Yes, Benny, I know about astrology. I've been doing this work for 40 plus years. Okay, 40 plus. I get all the theories. I've heard every ounce of BS there is. What I will tell you. I do not care what you're reading, what your numerology is. I do not care what you say about it. I'm telling you, it is the beast system here. And somehow when we reincarnate back in here, there may be the odd idiot that chooses to be born and, and be of service to the planet. And that idiot is not me, okay? Uh, thank you, Ashley, for that. Thank you for that. There may be the odd person that chooses to come and help humanity. That wouldn't be me. So when people tell me it's my lesson, I'm telling you straight out, I'm not altruistic, I'm not gonna be helping, and never even in a spirit form would I agree to come back here to help anybody. I don't wanna be here. So what about all the little kids being trafficked? I want you to, to think about that for a second. You think that they know that they're going to, I don't believe it's a fast track to heal here. They rape babies here. They sell human beings here. No, something else has happened, we got it wrong. We've got it wrong. Um, you don't have to stay with us. If you, if you believe in soul, it's a trick. There you go. It's a damn trick, Shannon. That's right, Shannon. Um, if you have to um, look at your doors, Hannah, look at your doors. Four planets in Pisces, March 8th. Yeah. Um, if, if, if you actually look at what goes on in this planet, if, if you tell me that you're supposed to be grateful for being here, I mean, there's things and pieces and that you're going to evolve 
You can't evolve here. It's basically below level energy. Nothing good happens on this planet. You may be good. I may be good. Our families may be good. But for the most system, most, most, most of this planet is evil as shit. Or we wouldn't have, tra I'm going to keep saying it again, or we wouldn't have traffic people. So we were tricked. I think it's a reincarnation loop and we're tricked. I'm pretty sure they show us everything first. I don't remember recalling. My memory was wiped or I would have offed myself a long time ago. When I was younger, and I'm older than a lot of you, various degrees of torture until you die. Yeah, when you, it's a video game. It's such bullshit. So Jodi Arias, what is that bitch? Like what, I mean, what, like what kind of men, what is she? Do you think that guy that was dating her, whatever his name was, by accident, the Mormon guy, you think that guy picked that for a lesson? What lesson did he learn? That this bitch was going to murder him after she fucked him and take pictures and wash his clothes, kill him and stab him or whatever she did. Like what lesson is his soul learning? Tell me, I want to know the lesson. I want to know the lesson after a baby gets raped, what the baby is learning. There are no lessons. Um, I didn't, come, where did that come from? Where I, I don't know, I'm saying, people are always saying there's a lesson. Um, yes, I want to understand. Please tell me the lesson that a small child, that little Alex, Travis Alexander, what did that guy do to anybody? Dated two people? Sexted a third one? Big deal, he's a man, they do that. I mean, you need to kill him and torture him and then we have to listen to Jodi Arias and her nonsense? Um, yeah, see, you understand, Kim, <laughs> I'm right behind you. Um, no, I don't think God bless me here, but you know, whatever. Anyway, Travis Alexander, what, what, what lesson did that guy learn? Tell me what lesson that JFK Kennedy learned, JFK. D tell me what he learned after he got shot by the fake guy on the grassy knoll, which was a bunch of bullshit. But anyway, tell me what he learned. Tell me what John Lennon learned. Tell me what Monica Lewinsky learned. Tell me, because I don't see the lesson in it. Um, I'm sort of finished. With, yeah, I'm finished. Marco, thank you. I'm finished. You and I are fucking finished. No, but tell me, what is the lesson that these people learn? So when people say that, when people say that, I actually, how bad do you, it's pretty bad. Of course I'm depressed, Susie. Why would I not be depressed? My son died, of course. Anybody whose child died will be depressed for the rest of their life. I'm sorry. Or am I supposed to learn a lesson from that? No, I'm not going to learn it. Um, but my point is, here's my point, Jody. all of the other eggs are alive areas that was, she's disgusting. What is she, what is it? What lesson is she learning? She gets to kill somebody. People keep speaking her name and she's on TV and she spends a couple of years in jail and you know, she probably has a good life in jail better than a lot of people out here. Cause she's getting food. Um, yeah, I'm speaking my truth. Thank you, boss lady. That's exactly right. But I really don't believe there's lessons on this planet to learn. I We learn lessons, obviously. You learn not to burn your hand on the fire. You learn not to do stuff. But I'm going to say it again. When a child is raped, what lesson are you learning? You're not. So the child learns nothing. They're three. They're four. They're trafficked. They're held as human caged people. The reason I'm bringing this up is because A, I'm in, you learn to be a bad, the bad guy. There you go, Wiggy, that's right. <laughs> exactly. I'm sure Elon Musk is a robot. He looks, you know what Elon Musk looks like? Like he eats the flesh of something he shouldn't be eating. He's got that, that, um, that skin flesh color. That's what he, that's what he has. Okay, the breeding farms. What are those people learning? They're getting, I mean, what, I want to know what you're learning. Um, I will not, yeah, well, now I won't get tricked in here. I did learn that. You're right. Reptilian. Yeah, he looks waxy. Thank you, Kathy. That's it. Waxy. Like, I'm like, what is with the, his skin? Like, get out of my bed, buddy. Yeah, Elon bloated white waxy skin. He's probably that movie, The Wax Museum with, uh, what's his name? Him. Yay. So, um... I'm sure there's going to be a war. We're already at war. Synthetic, a synthetic. That's exactly right. He's gray. <laughs> Fuck Elon Musk with his stupid cars. Madonna, have you heard of Clonade? Where'd Madonna go? Like, okay, and then she's doing this rhetoric. She's up on charges for child trafficking in Malawi where she got her kids, okay? So she's she's on uh, up for child trafficking or whatever. They're trying to bring her into court for that. 
So from Nova Scotia, he sounds waxy too. He sounds stupid. So Madonna is lit. No, she's not getting mad. She wants those responses. Madonna, that's not her. Think it, just go Google Clonade and figure out whatever happens in Clonade probably happened to her. That's not her. That's why they fuck with their faces. If they're going to remove you, they make you look similar but different. Like Michael Jackson probably was killed years before he was killed. And that wasn't even him because they keep messing with his face. And we just got used to him wearing a mask and a fake nose and a, whatever Michael Jackson was doing. So, um, you know, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I don't feel it's her. I, do, I know Donald Marshall. Right, but Clonade. So Madonna dated Richard Ramirez. I'm quite sure she did. She pretty much fucks anything. But I don't think that's her. So they steal the consciousness. This is what people don't understand. Guelph, Ontario. They steal the consciousness out of people. They literally, I've never been a fan of Madonna. Jeff Bezos, bug-eyed Bezos. I mean, and he's got that doll that he, you know, our former newscaster out here in LA. Stop doing this shit to your lips where you go like this. Stop doing that. They want you to look like the Twilight Zone where the pretty girl thought she was ugly. Michael's nose. Yes, he had necrosis. But Bobby, they can hide the necrosis behind a, a um, clonade doll. A clone, you know, a clonade. Um, meaning, uh, not a doll. <laughs> clone, a clonade. Yeah, what is with these look? Stop that. No, the UFOs. Okay, first of all, this is the fake alien invasion that they wanted, right? So they wanted to do the fake aliens. And it's always over Canada they shoot something down. Lake Erie, Lake Huron, wherever it was. It's always in Canada where the crazies live, okay? Meaning the government in Canada is like duck lips, exactly. So I think I don't think Madonna had surgery. I literally think Madonna is not Madonna. I don't believe she's Madonna. I just don't. No one's panicking with aliens. Do we care? Do we care? I mean, I don't care. Do you care? Like, take me back. Is a ship coming? Did my people find my milk carton? Like, did they find me? I've been missing for 56 years. Maybe they found me on the other planet and they sent my people. So maybe I can go home. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't, I don't feel it's Madonna anymore either. I, I really don't. And they just want to say that. Like, it's ageism. Yeah, okay, Madonna, you're special. Project Bluebeam, there you go probably Madonna's, you know, it's, I know there's such a setup. It's like, shut up. Like when the rest of us saw aliens when we were little, oh, we're crazy, but now we're supposed to believe the government. No, 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 no. Lady Gaga is another one. They're another one. They're demonically possessed, but people don't want to, they just don't want to believe that. And yeah, no, Madonna, look up clonade. They steal the, the consciousness of the human soul. And then they put it into blow-up dolls, okay? That's what you're looking at, which would be known as clones. But they consciously steal your consciousness. They cannot steal the consciousness of one of God's unless they turn over that power and give that power away, okay? If they give that power away to the beast system, you know, the God of light, which is not the God that... I pray to, but anyway, that God, they steal the consciousness. The consciousness is kept in a clonade, whatever, and the and that's exactly what that is. Their consciousness is kept. So when the consciousness is kept, they can set off a new robot blow up doll. Oh, Madonna, and I'm going to come out and I'm going to say that you have ageism. Okay, first off, Madonna, why are you special? The rest of us women that age get ageism. So go fuck yourself, Madonna, because you're Madonna. You're not a trendsetter. We've been saying it all along since we're little. When you're about 25, you notice that you really don't count in society. I know you do count. Society says you're getting old. Chop, chop. Your eggs are drying up. Come on. When a woman hits 40, they're like, oh, my God. Like, you haven't had kids yet? Yeah, that's what they say. Now, there's some biological truth to that. But yeah, they make deals with the devil and they steal their consciousness. So they, of course, there's something wrong with Madonna. She's always been a fucking asshole, hasn't she? I mean, you know, yes, I'm going to do a video. I have to explain to you guys. I'm working doing charts. I'm working 10 hours a day. So I'm trying to do shit and then I'm sleeping the rest of the time. 
because I'm exhausted. Plus I have to like make my dinner, which we all have to do, but I find it very boring. So I ate popcorn. All right. So anyway, there's that. Um, no, I believe they're all sold out. I think if you're making a lot of money on this planet, you are sold out, whatever that means. I don't care if you're, I don't care if you're Mr. Unknown Businessman. I don't care who you are. I believe that you are, <laughs> Bobby, you having popcorn too? I believe that they are sold out. Now, you cannot sell a soul because it's, oh, black cherry frozen yogurt. That's good, Jebra. Deborah, we need that over here. Now I'm going to have to get in my car and I'm going to have to fight the bear at night to get my ice cream. Boo-boo's out there. Yogi and boo-boo. Um, yeah, Roseanne Barr is fine. And, but she admits to selling out when she was 12, which is really interesting. Your soul belongs to God. So you cannot, if you don't know Johnny Depp sold out, I don't know what to tell you. So you cannot sell a soul. It's like me. It's like you selling my house. If I live in my house and my house is in my name, you cannot sell my house. It's in my name, right? So you cannot do that. And so I don't understand why people, you know, keep saying that stuff. I don't understand it. So um, I'm, I'm not understanding. So yeah, I don't get it. However, if you believe it and you sell out, then you align with the cult mentality, right? If you are famous, you're sold out in some way. Yeah, you you just absolutely, I don't know what to say. I mean, I've no, I, I don't know what to say. Even they got the people on TikTok, they got the people on YouTube that are up in the millions. They too have sold out. You're not going to get that kind of a claim on this planet unless you play this planet's game. And this planet's game is about the degradation of the human being, which is what the government is doing. So it's a huge, huge, I mean, they are puppets. Look at the bullshit that they tell us. Do you think I, remember Julia Roberts? It's the same thing with Joe Rogan. You remember Julia Roberts? Do you remember this? Oh, Dr. Fauci, you're such a hero. Listen, bitch, why don't you step forward now? Yeah, Julia Roberts, I'm talking to you. Why don't you step forward and explain that comment that you made? I know, right? Yogi Bear, I got to beat the bear. So, I like, I don't know. And I, the, the agenda is, understand the agenda is satanic. Luciferian, reverse world, upside down world. The agenda is to Baphomet everybody. That's why Madonna, Dwayne Wade, Charlize Theron, Jamie Lee Curtis, Warren Beatty, and Cher, and Madonna, all of them have transgendered kids. How many people do you think are really transgendered? I just want to ask. I'm so curious. Now, um, I'd like to see, yeah, I'd like to, yeah, exactly. Do you think the Korean pop? Yes, I think anybody on this planet who is successful is sold out. And in fact, those Korean pop singers, I don't think are human. I don't think they're human. Oh, where's MSU, Lola? An active shooter. Where is MSU? Oh my God. Um, yeah, child abuse in people's faces. Uh, 95% of them. Yeah, Deborah, I'm in agreement with you. Yes, Joe Rogan. You think he's going to get a platform all over the internet like that if he's not sold out? Do you think he's going to get a platform like that if he is not sold out? He's not going to get that platform. No matter what he espouses, he will not get it. They will not let you speak. Yeah, they just, uh, you know, whatever. Anyway, there's been... Tons of train, uh, why can't she see my questions? Because I'm retarded, that's why. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that word. Anyway, those K-pops look like clones. They are. Jason told me they didn't even sweat when he was, he had to stand outside with them this like a year ago. He said their pores didn't even sweat. So they're synthetics. They're synthetics. Yes, exactly, with Kelly Clarkson. You d oh, come on, come on. Anybody with money, I actually believe that because money is the currency of, Satan. We have to have money to live here, but it's like so much. You know what I mean? Like how much? Now, you guys asked about the, um, you guys asked about <laughs> the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl. So I didn't see anything, but here's what, and the train derailments. I know four of them, they want us dead and fuck them. Fuck them. Okay. 
So they're the ones, see, once we're all dead, once they trick us all through transgendering everybody, your kids, making, I, I was talking to a friend of mine and her son went to school and they asked him what his, his um, pronouns were. Why is the public school system fucking asking that? Who the hell are you with the tax money, of uh, my tax money, your tax money, their tax money, asking kids what their fucking pronouns are? Why are you asking an idiotic question in the school system like that, right? Why are you asking that? Kelly Clarkson ate the real <laughs> Allison, you're funny. Why are they at no, it's not about no, no, no. No, that's not what it's about, Rosa. You can I mean, seriously. Why are they why are they asking your children with your tax money what their pronouns are? My son is my son. My daughter is my daughter. I mean, stop. Their pronouns are the same as yours, you stupid bitch teachers. Okay, so that's some bullshit by the city that you live in asking your kids what the pronouns are. None of their business. I know. Well, they did ask my friend that. Born a male and and detransition. Yes. Yeah. I, they say she was. Don't ask my pronouns. I know. Well, don't ask my kids pronouns. They're under 18 and you have no fucking business. Okay, you have no business asking that. Like, why are you asking that? What is wrong with you? What is actually wrong with you that you're asking that? But here, hold on. I, I just want to show you a picture. Okay, so this little demon here, it, well, Rihanna in her little red demon outfit and all of the little white demon garbage can garbage bag wearing demons on stage with her what do they remind you of come on click click chop chop when you see rihanna you think of a hazmat garbage bin in the hospital hazmat garbage bin red with hazmat on it what are the white people yeah yeah exactly uh-huh it's all about them shutting us down again they're ridiculous they're ridiculous a sleeper in, they're ridiculous rihanna looks like she's in a hazmat outfit where did i put this um i sent it to myself somewhere i'm always sending myself stuff so that i i see it but okay today let's see um okay one second y'all Yeah, hold on. Let me snap some pictures from this. I just found it. Yeah, that's what Rihanna looks like. First of all, it's a ritual, okay? Because because the Grammys, they don't do anything without trying to shove bullshit in our face. As if I'm here to live for these people, okay? So, no. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Okay, so hold on here. Let me just... Yeah. So they're all in the red. Hold on. Um, it's a hazmat and I can't get it all. But anyway, I can't find it. It's definitely a ritual. She looks, it looks like a bunch of hazmat people coming in and putting stuff. But I mean, if you're, yeah, Rihanna's pregnant. The bitch is procreating again. Good for her. Um, you know, maybe the baby will have a chance. But see, they're born into servitude. So it's terrible. Yeah, they do that. That's what they do to us. So when you actually realize it, it's a little bit gross. It's a little bit gross. So I think that's going to be Michael Obama. I mean, the first female black president, right? <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I don't glorify Rihanna at all. Let's see. Um Let's see, puffer coats are, are all, puffer coats all sexualized. I don't even know why a puffer coat would be sexualized because you can't see shit. Thank you for that. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I think they're hijacked too once their talent shows. Yeah, they come after them once you have talent. It's a God-given talent and people are greedy for money. When you realize on this planet that, you know, they can take it away. They never give it. I'm so into the puffer style. Yeah, I would never wear the puffer style. Um, but that's because I'm little-shouldered. It would take over my body. 
De Rihanna's like a full on demonic Satanist, that one. Um, not a good, not a good person from what I can see, but you know, who am I? I'd be nobody. So I'd be nobody with that. You know what diamonds represent? Uh, no, I don't. I don't have one. Diamonds, they tell you diamonds are worth money. The only thing, she's a Pisces. Well, she's a sold out Pisces. Yes, they're obsessed with diamonds. I'm too fat for puffer coats. So you can be too fat or too thin for puffer coats, right, Kirk, uh, Cameron? Yeah, they left Hollywood, but the fact that they got a show means they did some nasty shit with somebody to get up there. Blood diamonds. Yeah, I know about the blood diamonds. They have kids to be sacrificed. Exactly. Um, why would you... What, why would you, why would you have a child if you were sold out knowing they could kill your child? Like you're that greedy in your head. Why are you so greedy? Yeah, I know Chris Brown beat her to a pulp and fuck that guy. He shouldn't have done that. Did he go in? No, they're, none of them are paying for their crimes. Here's what I can tell you. Here's what I can tell you. I can tell you that once we leave and we ascend and it's an energetic thing, that's what's happening with the time right now. The time is accelerating and it's an energetic thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once we ascend with the energy, they will not have anyone around them. They won't have anyone around them. Diamonds are women who are... Ah, I got you. Mm. Thank you for that. I didn't know that. Yes, I think Rihanna's evil. Look at her. You think she's not? Jim Caviezel, Caviezel, whatever his name is. I think they're Mel Gibson. All of them. Mel Gibson is a billionaire. He is not a billionaire. <clears throat> he is not a billionaire because he's a good person. Okay? He is not a billionaire because he's a good person. If you are a billionaire, you have done shit. Period. Yes. My life's been very slow. But now it's fast. Um, so yeah, anyway, D Rihanna, yeah, I don't watch any of it. Uh, where did I get my bracelet? It's not a bracelet. It's a watch. It's a Garmin watch. <clears throat> I get anything stuck in a door puffer. <laughs> yeah, I can't wear them, Bobby. I'm too like little and it bolts me out. And then it's just like I'm thighs and big, big fatty up here. No, I can't do it. Um, yeah, pregnant women rubbing on her privates. Yeah, well, you know what? Disgusting. Naomi Campbell. Re yeah, Naomi Campbell's another one. Apparently, she leaves her child in the company of who, who anybody who pays her to do so. She'll leave her child with anybody. Allegedly. Okay, so I look like the Michelin Man. Yeah, it's, I can't stand it. Like, it's actually depressing that people believe in the Super Bowl. You do understand everything that they have us doing at the I got to get this set. I promise I'm trying to be a normal person. I can't do it anymore. Um, <clears throat> so here's here's the prop. I get my diamond set. I don't, I wouldn't even want a diamond. So it's all bullshit. First of all, when a man puts a diamond on your hand, what are you, his servant? No, I give you this diamond. Why are you giving me a diamond? What are you doing with that? What are you binding me to? Mm -mm. <coughs> if the, excuse me, if the man gives you the diamond, you give him one back. So it's reciprocal. It's not just about the girl getting the diamond or the ring or the moonstone or whatever it is you do. The, yeah. Slave for diamonds. Exactly. So you give them a ring back. That's what I did. Anything you give me, I give you the same thing back. You're not just going to give me something without me doing something because then you own me. It's an imbalance of energy and people Yes, you buy your own rings, except people don't understand that. Oh, look, he give, when they talk about a man, look what he bought me. He didn't buy you shit. He binds you. So whatever, if he gives you $5, give him five back. The energy's equal. It has to be even, even between a man and a woman, period. Because if the man gives you more, trust me, you're going to pay for it. You're going to hear about it. They're going to fuck with you with it. And that's what's going to happen. Let's see. What if you don't have herpes? I don't have herpes. Why would I have herpes? Anyway, um, yeah, 425 million. You really think Mel Gibson is a genuine person? He's not. He's a sold out, controlled opposition to make people equal or better. Right, Bobby? Uh, yeah, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. I don't celebrate. Um, but I used to celebrate when my kids were little 
and go out with my kids because that's really the only thing that ever mattered to me. The man does not matter to me. My children mattered to me. That's all that mattered to me. So, uh, I mean, it's nice to have a partner, but I cared about my kids. That's about it. Uh, <laughs> whatever. Sell the gold later. You can't sell gold or diamonds. You can't do that. Like, think about it. The reason that Jack Nicholson, okay, Jack, of course Jack Nicholson, come on. Oh, my God. Yes. For Jack Nicholson to be able to get to the level of stardom that he's in, yes, and yes, and yes. No, I don't send Lila a valentine. I'm not sending anybody a valentine. I'm just not. Sorry. Jack has dementia right now, but you know why they have dementia? Because they've been MK altered, controlled. I was going to say sodomized. Sorry, here we go again. They've been... They've been physically assaulted, trauma bonded, and then their mind fragments later on in life because it fragments. They stop doing it. And then just like with um, Bruce Willis, again, whom I liked very much. I don't care. He's still part of the system. When I knew him, I didn't quite know that. But they end up losing their minds. That's what happens. So that's what happens. Yeah, that's what had puffer style in this in 1998, and I didn't wear it then either. I mean, as little kids, we wore those big things. Yeah, of course. They've got a holiday. And, and now, look, yeah, it's to celebrate. Cho it's chocolate day. Now, look what they did. They put the Super Bowl in February. So you've got two things in February. You've got two things. You know, and Nicholson, let me just tell you the story about him. And I'm convinced that when they're mean when they're young. No, I really liked Bruce, actually. Weirdly, I really liked him. He was nice. He parked my car for me and I liked him. He was nice. I was at their house and I enjoyed him. Very nice. He, they're not going to show me their fangs. Like when I talk to anybody who is possessed, they're not going to show me their fangs. That is not going to happen because who goes out with their fangs showing? I mean, Madonna, because she looks like her fangs are showing. Um, but anyway, um, what the hell was I going to say? Mm, can't remember. The human meat trap. Oh my God, right? Jesus. Of Oh, Jack Nicholson. Okay, so it is my contention through observation. If you are with somebody, <laughs> puffer, Bobby trying to get through the door, slammed by the puffer jacket. Ah. Okay, so it is my contention that anybody, uh, anybody who is really unkind when they're younger probably ends up with dementia later on. So Nicholson, I used to read a couple of the girls he slept with. They were working women. And he had a habit of beating the crap out of people he fucked, which means he actually... I, Jack, Michael J. Fox, you know what? It happened really early on to him, didn't it? Uh, anyway, Nicholson used to beat the allegedly prostitutes that he was with, the working women, and then pay for their plastic surgery. So what this says to me is he won't fuck men because his dick doesn't like men. But he hates the fact that his dick likes women. So he has to hurt the women. That's what that says to me. Okay. Um, that's what that says to me. My, uh, Michael J. Fox. You, you, you don't see. Okay. So Michael J. Fox. I think. I'm not sure how old he is. Let's look up his birthday. So apparently he smoked a lot. So are we saying nicotine did that to him? Um, or, or was he eating a substance in the party group that he was in? Because remember, in order to sell out, you're basically greedy. Because you want to be better and you want to cheat. So you are greedy. He's 60, so he's a little bit older than me. Um, let's see. Not, yeah, he's 61. He's from Edmonton, Canada, June 9th. So in because you want money so much, because you want money so much, you agree to do what they want because you want to be the special person. You want and and we all grow up thinking that I want to be a rapper, I want to be a model, I want to be a whatever, blah -de blah, whatever, right? You want to be whatever it is because you think money's so important, which it is to live on planet Earth. However, however, 
okay, when you agree to it, you are actually greedy. Like when you look at someone like Jennifer Hudson and what happened to her family for her to have, you're greedy. You want all the dinner. And then it's like those girls on the Kardashians on Instagram going, oh no, I don't have butt implants. I don't have, look at, look at, look at young girls. Look at me. You can never be like me because I cheated and I was never born attractive and I never will be attractive. But now I look attractive because I'm completely made in a warehouse. I mean, I'm not saying to each his own with looks, but they want to be the best at everything because it's a greed thing for them. So um, what's the obsession? Well, on this planet, the obsession with money is this planet because you can't really go move into a house without money. <laughs> like, I mean, you whatever, right? So you have to have money, right? Um, so yeah, the Kardashians were never my version of what was attractive. So they look like whatever they look like, which was fine for them. But, you know, see, you can see the doctor on Thursday. Yes, you're going to make it fine, Gail. You will be fine, cute Gail, sweet Gail. Yeah, I think it's your lung, whatever. I'm not going to say it on here. But um, there are no chosen ones on this. But when they talk about it, when anybody says you're chosen, they're full of shit, okay? You're not chosen, you're not chosen for anything. Nobody's chosen. You're in you're in a fucking cesspool down here. You're in prison and it's like I get to do lunch duty. Oh, good for you. That's nice. Um yeah, I don't believe anyone's chosen. Mm -mm. I don't believe anybody. I just don't. Yeah, well you know what's interesting? It's in our child actors. Child actors are Emily. That's a good question. I think child actors are born into a family where they're either sacrificed by their parents and or it's a repetitive, um, it's a repetitive cyclical uh, reincarnation. So, for example, Rihanna, when Rihanna dies or Madonna dies, she coming back in as somebody's child in the system and they keep the soul trapped because the soul initially, whenever it's sold out way, way, way back, I don't know, say the I don't know, 4,000 BC. I have no clue when they sold out. But when they sold out initially, the soul keeps recycling because of shame and guilt and what they're tricked and lied. And they don't ask God to redeem it. So they keep coming back into these families. So Rihanna's babies are recycled babies. Britney Spears' babies recycled. And this is all just a joke playing out. Like it's a fucking joke, okay? It's a joke. Um... So it's a problem. Miley Cyrus, look at her father. He's demonically possessed. He's got a girlfriend 40 years younger. Okay, we call you a predator, you sick fuck. And somebody who worked with his daughter. He's a predator. It's not a love story. You're a predator. And stop for the love of Jesus with the Tommy Lee, Pamela Anderson thing. It's concocted. Just stop. I'm not saying they didn't have great sex or he doesn't have a big dick, but I saw his dick and I don't, you know, whatever. I've seen better. Um... <clears throat> I'm not judging it. I'm just saying all we heard about was Tommy Lee's dick, Tommy Lee's dick, Tommy Lee's dick. That was some kind of a ritual within the music industry about Tommy D's lick, Tommy Lee's dick. <laughs> I said it backwards. That was a fucking something. Okay. <laughs> that was a something. That was some kind of a ritual because there's way better dicks out there. No offense to his. I'm not, I don't even want to see his. On what planet do I want to see that guy's dick on Twitter? I'm sorry. I do not. Well, there are better dicks out there. Come on. Yeah, please. And well, Pharrell Williams. I mean, what how? Okay. First of all, I want you guys. Don't get mad at me, you all. Do not get mad at me. Okay. There's something wrong with me now at this point in my life. <laughs> Severely depressed and psychotic at this point. But I want you to go and look at Sophia Loren right now and look at how the male face is coming out. Tommy D's lick. <laughs> exactly. I said it completely dyslexic. I want you to look at Sophia Loren's face right now. I want you to look at Sophia Loren's face and I want you to tell me that isn't an aged man. <laughs> don't yell at me. God forgive me. Please don't yell at me, okay? <laughs> I want you to look at her. I seriously do. I want you to start observing. 
Again, do not make me bring up fetus in the jar because I'm going to go off. <laughs> Dude, are you scared of big weenies and not me? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to see anybody's big fucking weenie. I don't know, right? Um, is she still alive? I'm not sure if she is, but I don't actually know if she is. But let's just look and understand. When she was younger, she's beautiful. But she wasn't my version of beautiful. But she does look like a transgendered person. <laughs> <coughs> oh, God. I'm going to burn in hell now. Now I'm going to burn in hell. But that's what she looks like. Um, <laughs> she's 88. Let's give her, I mean, at least she shows up. She wears makeup and stuff like that. But I literally, I, I seriously want you to look at her face right now. She was really interesting looking, but this to me does not say woman. That does not say woman. No matter what you say to me, this says man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm fucking fucked up. <laughs> um, this does not say woman. This said, look, look, please look. Look at the eyes. Look through the eyes. Look through the eyes. This is a woman. Thank you. Let's see. She had her lips done. Yeah, she did have her lips done. She still looks like a man to me. That doesn't look like a woman. Now, we probably all are going to look fucking ugly <laughs> when we age, okay? I can't stand J-Lo either. I want to slap her and go. Somebody goes, oh my God, J-Lo. And I'm like, la, 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 I can't hear you. Anyway, when Sophia Loren was young, she's she was never my version of beautiful. Like, because obviously I like Marilyn Monroe, right? But I can see why people thought she was beautiful. I can see it. And she looks a little bit like Audrey Hepburn, but she's a whole different size. But I just want you to take a look at this. Just look at the neck. Just, just, like, seriously. I just want you to look at that. Oh, God, forgive me. Uh, she might be a lady. I'm not saying she's trans. I'm saying what I'm saying. I don't know that she looks sultry. What happens to them, she's very, very, very masculine. But here's the thing. Of course, Ben Affleck's angry. <laughs> He's married to J-Lo. He's like, fuck, I did it twice. I fucking did it twice. I escaped once and I got captured. Um, poor Ben Affleck. Let's free Ben. Anyway, it's, uh, it's um, what happens is when they're born in, and like Brooke Shields right now, exactly. When they're born into a family, they are given, just please understand this. They are, uh, that is, wait, that's it. Could, yeah, she does look manly to me. I'm sorry. Um, she's Italian. <laughs> Allison, you're cute. Just like, that's why she's Italian. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, um, <clears throat> she looks like an owl. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not even trying to make fun. I What I'm saying to you is, when they are born into ritualized families, okay, they keep playing the same parts over and over again. So the souls are, she's a big woman. I'm going to ask you again, just, you're going to need to explain to me like Venus Williams, why that's a woman. I mean, no offense. I'm not mean offense, but it's part of their culture when they're born that they put in, <laughs> she looks like a Bruce Jenner. It's part of their culture when they're born that they give them hormones. If you give, if you give any baby hormones, right, whatever, it's going to grow them differently. Look at our children getting their periods when they're seven and eight and nine and ten because of the hormones they put in the food, let alone if they give you hormones, okay? If they give them to you when they transgender them, Venus is a man. I know, Bobby. That's, I know. Bigfoot. Um, but just ask yourself when that happens. And just to bring up a picture, because I guess I'm in a bad mood today. <laughs> oh, God. 
this is what they perpetrate on us. And this is what they think. That is Lenny Kravitz. I'm sorry. He's the one sold out person I find hot. But what they perpetrate against us is this fuckery. Like we're supposed to buy into this fuckery. Okay. And I just want you to understand. I really want you to look. Using your brain. Using just using your mind, using everything. Why are these people, not Sophia Loren, I'm talking about, I'm on the bushes now. Um, but I want you to look at their faces and ask you, it's obsidian. I had to put all my obsidian over here because I had to put my computer stuff over there. Okay, so I just, I really, 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 really want you to look at Barbara Bush and tell me why she is really a woman. I want you to tell me what fucking fuckery they're doing. <laughs> Look, I need to understand because most men go to prostitutes, go to Playboy bunnies. They pay all of those Instagram models. But you're telling me Bush Sr., who was not ugly, by the way. I mean, he's an ugly soul, but actually wasn't ugly married this woman. I want to understand it because all you women out there fixing your lips, putting shit in your face, doing whatever, we all are guilty of some form. I got fake boobs. We know this, okay? Why would I change myself to get a man, okay, for the male gaze? Because that's what we're all doing. We're trying to look pretty so we can get a date. I'm not, okay? I'm just trying to look like me. I'm never getting a date. Anyway, my point is, why are women in our society doing this? When good-looking, powerful men are marrying people like this. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, that is another man. So, in effect, he's gay. So, what we are seeing as a beauty standard is from... Is it Serena or Venus? Which one is the big one or both of them? <laughs> um, a very handsome lady. What does that mean? Like, come on. Yes, I know who Barbara Bush is. But my point is... They try to do that, but what happens is when they're born into, so Barbara Bush, excuse me, is Aleister Crowley's daughter. She's born into that family. She's given hormones really early on, and it is accepted, I have heard allegedly Brad Pitt, when they have small penises or clitorises that are bigger because of like hormones, i.e. steroids, this is what is considered in their community. They are in a cult. We are not part of it. It's like people who are Mormon. I'm not part of it. I don't get it. Okay, it doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. So that's the thing. Yeah, I'm sure Brad Pitt's <laughs> demons always stink when they walk around. <laughs> they don't shower because they don't think they have to shower because there's a demon living in there. Oh my God, they're so, like, like for real, there's an entity. There's a parasitic organism that is outside of the physical range of what we know to be a human being, period. So that's what lives in there. There is also, when you're looking at it, stinky pee pee, a no, no. <laughs> um, yeah, they're, but they're energetically attached, okay? They're energetically so why did they pretend to be pregnant? Because we can't even handle the fact that the elections are rigged in this country. You think when the president stands up there and goes, meet Barbara, my transgendered husband, man, woman, wife, with our surrogate having our babies, you really think the public's going to accept that? We'd we burn them at the stake. Like the old witches got burned. That's what we do. We'd burn them at the stake. Why do we... We're putting up with them because we think they're fucking people. They're not... Okay, they're people. They're own kind of people. It's deception. It's duplicitous. They do it. Jamie Lee Curtis couldn't have a child. So she adopted one like Charlize Theron adopted two. Like Madonna adopted three. And everybody got transgender kids. What is with these adopting kids and they're all transgender? What is that about? What is that about? Because you know the odds that you're going to be transgender are so minute, so minuscule. What is that about? <laughs> oh my God, what is that about? Do the Bush kids know this? I don't know. They you telling me you look at your mother. They're all in the demon seed family. Do you see George Bush, little George Bush? Don't you hear him? Don't you hear that little, the dumb one, the son? 
Don't you hear what he says? Don't you see how they fuck with us? Do you look at the vice president right now, Camilla, whatever her name is? Do you not hear? Biden, do you not hear? Why are we doing nothing about this? Like, you want me to respect a guy that goes out there like that? What? What? Are you, and you have a problem with Trump? And But you don't have a problem with Biden? You should have a problem with both, okay? Like... Jude Law. Oh, Jude Law. I don't know much about him, but he's probably one of them. So, I mean, like, I don't know what to say. These people are, they fuck with you. We are their sweat slaves. That's why they're doing this to, to us with taxes. They want us to work for them. They think that I'm here to work for them. They think you're here to work for them. Here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say this to Twitter. I'm going to say this to every fuck that goes against me and says, I should shut up. I can't even say the word sex on the internet. I have to say segs like that. I've got a problem with any politician. They're all pieces of shit. Stop voting for these people. They have no right to control us, period. Who died and left those people boss? First of all, first of all, first the fuck of all, I just, it's disgusting, okay? No, you don't have a right. You just, no, 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 no. Um, of course, Henry Styles is a random boy. They're all butt buddy random boys. Um, but if you're not going to censor, and I'm going to say it on here because we all get blocked for it and they punish me on YouTube and they punish me on Instagram and I get punished everywhere. If you cannot censor child porn on the internet, stop censoring me for what I'm saying. If you cannot to every person that goes against what I'm saying because they say I'm crazy, a conspiracy theorist, I should get the vax. I'm never getting the vaccine. Hear me clearly. I don't want it. I don't care. Look at you politicians. Stand beside me and let me see what you eat and how you exercise. You don't. You fuglies, okay? You don't. You're unhealthy. You're demented. You're sold out. You poop your pants. No. No. I will never take the vaccine. If you want to shut me up for saying that, then get rid of child porn first. Get rid of the child porn first. If you, as a social media, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, cannot, Facebook, get rid of child porn, shut the fuck up about me. Get out of my face. Because you are allowing children to be raped because you don't want to deal with it. No, you agree with it. You're compliant with it. You make money off it. Me, you don't. Well, they do actually. They take a cut of my money. But they want to censor me for saying I don't want the jab. I don't want the jab. I don't want, and it's called a vaccine. I do not want the C-19 vaccine. So I did not take it. But I got censored, threatened, videos taken down. But child porn remains up there every single day. Ask yourself why. Since they can take Trump off of Twitter, they can literally shut Twitter down and say, no more Trump. <laughs> like that, okay? Ooh, the big orange man. Shut the fuck up and take the child porn off. Take child porn off the internet. Take it off the internet. Off, off, off. Oh my God, don't get me started. See, I go on a rant. Anyway, why are they not taking it off? I know it's reverse world. Why are they not taking it off though? Why are you talking to me? I have to say, I have to say sex. No, it's sex. If somebody's having sex with somebody, if somebody gets raped, oh, I can't, here they're all, they're doing videos like this. I can't say, I can't say, um, here they are on Twitter. Every Twitter person, I can't say SA. It's called sexually assaulted, and that's the correct word for it. And yes, you can say it. If somebody is sexually assaulted, they have every single right to say, I was sexually assaulted, I was raped. That is the vernacular people speak with. Why are we making up fake words? Your vagina is your fucking vagina. Oh my God. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> and then you ask me if I'm depressed. Do you think I'm depressed? Yes. Yes. What is going on? What is going No, seriously. Oh, oh, wear your mask. Oh, wear your mask. 
Listen, all you bitches and Ralphs and all you fucking retards out there. And yes, I'm using the word retard too. So come after me for that. Retarded thinking. You're slowed down backwards thinking as opposed to a developmentally, developmentally disabled person, which is not who I'm talking about. You, who apparently are, quote, normal with your mental backwards thinking, put a mask on but won't fight for child porn. Put a mask on and let your local restaurants, your gas stations, your clothing stores go out of business because, oh, you're so afraid to die, you cowards, but you won't save a child. Why is that? Why is that? Oh, but I've got to keep my work going, but you won't get rid of child porn. Why? Oh my God, speak up. Say something, cowards. Oh no, but I don't want to get fired from my job. Oh, <clears throat> cry babies. So when you cross over and you've got grandkids in your family or kids in your family that are getting fucking raped, don't be upset about it because you say nothing about anybody's kids getting fucking raped. So never, never, never. When it happens in your family, act like you're special and we should give a shit about your family. I care about all kids. But you should not be acting like you're so devastated because you wore the mask and you never spoke up against child pornography that's going on behind the mask. You never said, if you're in California, to Gavin Newsom, listen, you mental patient, why aren't you wearing a mask? Who is that guy? No one voted him in. They are stealing everything. Just stop. If everybody stood together, if every single one of you, let's say you work at Budweiser. No, the fire department. Let's say you work at the fire department and they're saying everybody has to get the vaccine. And I'm using the word vaccine because it's a fucking vaccine. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, so let's say you work at the fire department and they're like, you can't work anymore. You'll lose your pension and this and that. If all 40 firemen stood together or 400 firemen stood together, they would have no choice but to fucking deal with it. They would have no choice. But all the cowards ran crying back to their mommies because they weren't going to have their jobs. Poor babies. Wow, your sense of entitlement is disgusting, okay? Your sense of cowardice is fucking stunning. You are cowards. So I know police and firemen that did not take the vaccine. Continue to say, no, I'm not going to take it. You can't make me take it. And they can't. If they fire you, you have a lawsuit. You have to go and sue them. Nobody wants to, but that's what you have to do. There you go, and you're proud of it. Good for you. Rhiannon, I can't say your name correctly, but good for you. That's what you have to do. I'm sorry your nephew got to it. That's what you have to do. They're cowards, though. I'm sorry they're cowards. Oh, I got it to keep my job. Oh, wow, okay, good for you. You're allowed to make your personal choice, but don't shove your fucking personal choice on me and get rid of child porn. So instead of telling me and, 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 and censoring the shit on the internet that speaks against the vaccine, because common sense when you read it says that they don't know what they're doing and it was never tested on anybody and that Fauci's a Nazi Germany liar, not Italian. You Italians should be mad that Fauci said he's Italian. Look at his bone structure. That guy's Italian like I'm a lampshade. Okay, so anyway, um, getting past that, his mindset is 100% Hitler. I'm not allowed to say Hitler either. I'm not allowed to say any of these things because, ooh, it's so bad. No, no, actually, it's not bad. That guy heard all the beagles. All of us beagle owners should go after him and pull his vocal cords out like he did the beagles. Oh, because they're docile dogs and they don't fight back. Great, Fauci. Let's make you a docile 80-year-old man and pull your little fucking vocal cords out so you can never speak lies again. Never can you speak lies again. Never, never, never. Never. Think, and nobody says anything about the Beagles. I mean, they do, but they don't. So it's so weird, okay? Yes, Magic Johnson also has a transgender child and is still alive. But yeah. Why? Of course, Fauci's a demon and he thinks he's fucking clever and they back talk gaslight and they're like, oh, I lost friends. Thank you for that, Jamie. Um, they oh, they won't post it. Yeah, they want to punish me by taking my money back on top of everything. They want to try to control my money. I can suck dick if I want to for money. So there anyway, I mean, like what? Go ahead, YouTube. Anyhow. Fauci, 
Okay, they have removed rape, raped, and rape from the dictionary. No, rape is a thing. It's a thing. It's when someone rapes you, and it doesn't have to be with a penis. It can be with an object. Women can do it too to other women. It's it's an it's an object going into your orifice against your will and orifice. So if they stick something in your mouth, you don't want it, that's rape. If they put their fingers in you, that's rape. If they use a bat, that's rape. If they use a bottle, that's rape. If they do something sexually to you against your will, that is rape. Period, end of conversation. And it is a word. Rape, 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 rape. Oh my God. Anyway. Um, yeah, the jab is a word. It's called a vaccine. They called it the C-19 vaccine. It's not really a vaccine. It's just a concoction of garbage that they put in there with a bunch of fetal cells, mixed it together and put it in there and said, here, take this. I have PayPal at Sloan Bella. Yeah, at, at Sloan Bella, my PayPal. Yeah, my PayPal is at Sloan Bella. Um, so that's what they do. I'm so sick of it. It's, it's poison. It's no, no news on Caitlin yet. Thank you for asking. No news on Caitlin, but we're waiting. We feel like she's still going to come through, meaning she's going to free herself. Graphene. Yeah, it, I know they're just injecting us, but you can never stop God. Thank you for that, Don. Thank you, Teresa. Um, you can never stop gods. You will never stop. Um, what were you saying about Fauci? I say I say that Fa Anthony Fauci is a piece of shit. He's hardly Italian. That's a made up name. He is demonic. He hurt beagles by pulling out their vocal cords so he could test on them and harm dogs. That's what he did. And then he went all over the news and told all of the people to take this vaccine that it was never tested on more than eight people. And actually it was eight monkeys. But since they try to tell us we come from monkeys, I don't fucking come from a monkey, okay? I don't fucking come from a monkey. You want to say I come from a monkey? I don't have a tail. Mm. Anyway, but they tested it on eight monkeys and then put it out into the public. Orange man bad turned around and said he got it fast-tracked as if that's a good thing. Donald Trump, hear me please. This is not a good thing that you got it fast-tracked. No, your family didn't take it. I doubt your children took it. I doubt you took it. However, you do take some kind of stimulant as a 78-year-old man. You do. And you have a woman's ass and hips and it's gross. Anyway, <laughs> orange man bad. Okay. Biden. What? What? Ladies. Men. All of you. Everybody. Why do we listen to Biden, who's almost 80, Trump, who's almost 80? Why are we listening to these people? Yes, they are too old. Who are they? They're not running anything, okay? Biden, I, I, I don't know what to say. I know, they're demons. That's exactly what they are. I don't know what to say about these people. Why are we allowing them to control us? Why? They do not determine anything I do. I am not here Somebody said to me on the weekend, what if the government, it's always the government. First of all, I did not give the per government permission to enslave me. I did not give them that permission. That's the first thing. So I'm a child of God, not the government. The fucking government is demons and man and Satanists and weirdos. I am not your fucking bitch. You do not get to tell me what to do. And I'm serious. We have let them take over too much power. Collectively, as a group of people, this is... Old isn't it? Old isn't the problem. Well, it is when you're 80. You can't run a country when you're 80. There's no way Trump isn't taking stimulants running around the country. Come on. I was married to somebody who's who will be 77. I know what old men who are in shape look like, and Trump isn't even in shape. He's wandering around with that big ass. He cannot be in fucking shape. Okay. Sorry, he's got fatty butt. Anyway, <laughs> he's got fatty butt. But somebody said to me, what? Hi, Mew Mew. Somebody said to me, what if the government, he has woman hips, he does. What, let's see, Sloan, you will be even more beautiful. I, I, Peter, I hope I'm dead by the time I'm 80. I have no desire to be here. He's probably a clone and he's not running the country. I'm quite sure of that, clone aid. But here's the thing. He lost weight, sure he did. And I'm a lamppost, anyhow. My point is, someone asked me on the weekend, what if the government is, because we were out driving around and the traffic was outrageous, okay? It was just fucking outrageous traffic. And 
they said, well, what if it's, what if they're trying to do the cars and do the gas and raise the prices to keep everybody from going on the freeway? I said, I don't care what the government has in mind and what they think they're doing because this is not what I'm here to do. I was not born to follow the rules of the government. And I don't mean that like I won't stop at a red light, I will, and do stuff like that. But what the government do is doing now is telling you what to inject into your body. And some of you are perfectly fine without doing that. And the government is bringing in legislation about how you earn a living based on what you do put in your body. So what if the government came to you and said, you need to let us fuck you in order to go to work. So you put a mask on and you thought nothing, but you enslaved us who don't want the mask. That's number one. Number two, what if the instead of the mask, they said, we want to fuck your daughters, they're 12. Are you going to listen to them or will you speak up or do you have to keep your family paid for? So you, yeah, I know, leave California. I got nowhere to go, Peter. Um, I'm asking you, what if they said that? What if they said that to you? You will not work at your work at a waitress, in your office, as a lawyer, as a doctor. What if they said that? We will fuck your daughter. She's 12. What would you do? Because you sure as shit didn't say no to the mask. What would you do? I'm just asking. Mm. That's the next step. People don't see that. If you let this happen then you're gonna let that happen because you'll be afraid. And there are families that will sell their 12 year olds into servitude in order to keep their job. What am I referencing? I'm referencing Nazi Germany in World War II, where they actually sold out their neighbors to be good people and following the government so that they could be murdered. <clears throat> that's already happened. So don't think it's not. That's what I think Rihanna's stage performance was about. Thank you for that, Chrissy. That No, you wouldn't. But what what is the difference between mask up your fucking kids, little babies with masks on, do it or don't work? Government has no right to tell you that. Like they do not have the right. They are not medical doctors. They aren't medical doctors. Unless the CDC is actually a medical doctor, and I'm yet to take two or three people. So unless they are that, why are you listening to them? Why are we listening to Julia Roberts? Why are we listening to Fauci? Fauci's the one that made the AIDS virus. Why are we listening to these people? Hmm. Yeah, I don't, mandates are laws either, and people think that's true. I don't care what they are. I'm not doing them. I don't care what Newsom says. I don't care. I don't care. People, I, I will also remind you that your government, um, I will remind you that your government is still selling cigarettes and vapes. Your government that's worried about you wearing a mask. Okay, that's who's selling vapes and cigarettes. Your government. Your government is, yes, you got to be hung for it. You will be hung for it. You will lose your money. People, you will lose your friends. People will not like you. That's correct. You will lose your job. You will lose your lovers. You probably lose your kids. We get it. But you still have to speak up because otherwise you're a coward. Compliance is the, basically if you don't say anything, you're, you're complying with the government. You're complying with them. I'm just going to say if your government gave a shit about your health, they would stop tobacco companies from selling cigarettes because it costs them a lot of money, because cigarettes directly kill you, okay? They directly kill you. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. They put a fucking skull on the packet. Like, yeah, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I lost my friends too, and they, they kept saying, you're not keeping people safe. This planet isn't safe, there's that. <laughs> I'm like, but what I'm saying to you is, if you were to think about it logically, when they talk about 
your health. It's for your health. Don't tell me what's for my fucking health. You don't eat like me. You don't make decisions for my body because that's mental rape. Do not tell me to cover up anything because it is raping my body by making me wear a mask. I don't want to, so don't do it. Don't tell me. I know it's nonsense. I know, I know, right? Vapes, fentanyl. Oh, and the fentanyl coming through the border. Isn't that nice? They just open up the border. Like, great. Thanks, Biden. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Open up the border. Mm, you can't trust any of them. Orange man, bad too. He's shutting the border completely. Biden's opening the border. They're all playing head games. It's all a game. Trump is a character here. I'm Donald Trump and I'm going to play this character. I'm Joe Biden and I'm, I'm Mr. Magoo. I'm going to run the country and I'm going to have my vice president say the dumbest fucking shit I've ever heard out of my fucking mouth. I'm going to have this woman speak nonsense and so do, 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 do it like this and we're going to run America and we're going to see if the American people got any kind of balls to stand up and throw these people out of government. But no, Americans are cowards at this point. Like I've got to say that at this point, we're all cowards here. Needs more swimming. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're just, they're, it's terrible. Uh, did fentanyl care, kill? No, I'm pretty sure Aaron Carter was murdered. That's what I'm pretty sure of. Yeah, I know it doesn't happen. But then, but then mm, the ones who control the president are probably the aliens. Yeah, I do stand alone. That See, this is the thing. When you're not afraid to die, you can speak up. But there are people that are cowards or afraid to die. I'm not saying I'm not afraid, like... The bear scared me. I'm afraid. Well, he didn't really scare me a lot. I was just like, how am I going to get my house past this big fat fatty in my driveway? But we all, we all feel afraid, but we're all going to die. So they've lied to us about death to make us fear it even more. They've lied to us about so many things and they just keep lying and lying. No, the aliens, <laughs> the aliens you're hearing are not real, but maybe they are and they come to get us because we're on the milk cartons in another galaxy. But yeah, I, no, I'm positive Aaron Car Carter was married. I'm mar married, Jesus, murdered. There's a Freudian slip. And by the way, if I hear someone else speak about Freud, Freud fucked his daughter and believed everybody did incest. So like he smoked the meth pipe or whatever was back then. So let's get that clear. Do you, I hear about Huey Lewis and no, I don't think he's normal. Trump, Trump is a chick. I don't know. I don't know what Trump is. He's a pretty big man. He's just fat. He's just rotund. No offense. I'm just saying, why am I listening to him about what I'm putting in my body? The man served everybody McDonald's at the White House. Why am I listening to you? You gave your guests McDonald's. You gave athletes McDonald's. Like, what are you, a fucktard? Like, are you a fucktard? Okay. I've lost my mind. Okay, there was a shot of the dancers probably in the shape of a chrome. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's the, I'm pretty sure it's the end of chrome. And by the way, did you all know this? Oh, I mentioned this. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump is still married because he has money. And so maybe it's for some business deal, which is another thing, ladies, don't get married. Just don't get married. Raise your kids, pay for your kids, keep your autonomy and stop getting married. That's a governmental thing. And then you're trapped and can't get out of it. It feeds lawyers and is fucked up. Oh, I didn't know about that. I don't know what Trump is. I'm just saying, look at Trump. He loves McDonald's. Why am I going to take advice for him on a fucking vaccine? You're eating McDonald's. I mean, I'm not saying it's not okay once in a while, but it's really not with the flesh thing that they talk about. But you're eating McDonald's. Do you see the mockery? Let me buy McDonald's in the White House, the richest place with the people's taxes. Let me buy McDonald's, feed a bunch of athletes who can't eat that shit, who are going to have to eat it because they're in the White House, McDonald's when they say that they put the human stuff in McDonald's. Do you not see that? Do you see it? Do you get it? Do you see what they're doing? Haha, <laughs> huge fuckery. It's fuckery. 
No, if you eat McDonald's, there's something wrong with you. It's fuckery. Imagine being married to him. Imagine, I can't, I can't say it. I'm throwing up in my mouth. <laughs> They're all hypocrites. They're all hypocrites. It's terrible. But Obama served hot dogs. Yeah, well, no. Obama served, no. Obama ordered hot dogs, and that was reference for the child prostitutes that he let into the White House, along with Bush Sr. in 1979. Look that up on the internet. I'm not just making that up. Um, yeah, McDonald's is just, he doesn't, yeah, I don't, I, he, okay, whatever. Big red shoes. Exactly, big red shoes. Everybody got big fucking red shoes on. Like, we don't know what that is. Uh, I know Ozzy. Um, big red shoes. Now it's pizza. Okay, you could be eating humans. Agree? Yeah, we could all be eating humans. Exactly. I don't choose to eat humans, but we don't know what's in the food. And since Bill Gates is buying up all the farmland, like that fat fuck, that woman man, that guy created Microsoft Windows like I'm a lamppost. Bill Gates. He's like spastic with his hands. And he talks, double talks like this, and he blathers on. Don't listen to Bill Gates. He's a liar. He created nothing. Red shoes, red shoe club. No, I'm serious. Watch Bill Gates talk. He talks. He's like, well, and the mosquitoes, and we let the mosquitoes out. They're GMO mosquitoes. God, dude, you, how are you on our TV? How, I love the French fries. Yeah, they're bad. Gates has woman heads, woman hips. Um, they all look like women. They've probably all been transgendered or whatever. He sounds like Kermit Bill. I know he's constantly going like this. His hands are all over like this. It's like, dude, how are you even intellectual? Like you are stupid, but, but he does say some truth in what he's saying. So he said, we need to text, te test the vaccine more. But here's what I beg of the American people. Anytime Bill Gates, yes, his perv sweaters, I know. Anytime Bill Gates tells you what you need to put in your body, you need to ask yourself why the media is hiring him to do that. Listen to me talking. Why are they doing that? What is that about? Why are we listening to Billy Gates? Why? Who is he? Why don't I go up there and give medical advice? Why? I want to know why. Who the fuck is he? Oh, he's a guy with money and all these people are like, money's my God. He's so rich. He's so this. He only got rich because he got it from his family and his family stole it from everyone else, much like the royal family. These people make money prostituting off of other people. Bill Gates comes from one of those families. That's all. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Money can't. I know. I know money can't make him a doctor. It, you know, I, and now there's that woman. Um, I put her on my Instagram. You guys probably know about her more than me. But... I put it on Instagram just to show the point. Okay, she's she's a Republican. No, I'm not Republican. She just happens to be a fucking Republican. He's got a nice sky blue V-neck sweater. Yeah, that's funny, Peter. He wears those sweaters to give the impression that he's Mr. Rogers. And he wears those sweaters because it looks like everybody's father, grandfather. And it's why they wear suits on Wall Street. They're disgusting. They steal. They prostitute. And they want us to think they look a certain way by how they dress as if that adds validity to who they are. And it does not. It does not add validity because you wear a fucking suit or because you wear a V-neck sweater. It does not make you a good person. People are dumb. They are dumb. Okay, so this woman is a Republican. This is her. No, oh, that's not her. She's a Republican, and her name is... This This is her. And her name is... What the hell is her name? Nancy Mace, and she took the vaccine, and she's having heart problems, and she wants to know from a woman named... Um, She's asking this bitch where she went to medical school, Miss Gade, this 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 pan face looking dumbass bitch. She's asking Miss Gade who where she went to medical school, okay? 
So Miss Gade, look at look at this condescending. Look at this fuck face here. This bitch is the one on Twitter. This bitch is the one on Twitter that censored the doctor saying what the reality of the vaccine was. So when you see that, look up, look, look that up. Nancy Mace, she's actually asking, you're not a doctor. So why, why is this allowed? Why are we listening to these people? I'm sorry, what? I mean, they make fun of psychics all over the place. I know I've been called crazy, so consider me crazy. I don't pretend to know anything. Why is that fucking woman censoring shit? Why? Why? And they're saying babies are having troubles being born with weirdo birth defects and shit like that. Has Cardi B sold out? I'm sorry, you don't know the answer to that. <laughs> I can't. You don't know the answer? I know, right? I mean, no, government should not be involved in my health unless the government on a whole is healthier than me and they're not. They're not. They're not. So no, no. All the best people are crazy. Oh, yeah, all the best people. Well, exactly. Austin, I don't even know who Austin Myers was. I really am getting my IUD mo removed. Excellent. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Thank you, Catherine. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Remember the conversations? <laughs> exactly. Billy Idol just got a walk of... Okay, first of all, no one cares about the Hollywood Walk of Fame because people piss and shit on it, okay? So the fact that you want to pay five or 10 or 15,000 to get yourself nominated to say, look, I'm a star, means that you're earthbound and you're stupid. So you actually think it matters what it says on the sidewalk about you as if that makes you a fucking star when you're going to die and you're not even going to know you were Billy Idol next time you come back or whomever. So like you don't believe in God and you actually believe in living as long as you can. That's nice. That's not, okay. 50K. Yeah. So it's a prostitution. It's like, yeah, I gave 50K so I could have a star. <sighs> <laughs> That's what they did. I mean, what? Uh, Earth, no, Earth is not for spiritual development. No, it's not. Children get raped. God does not want children getting raped. You're never going to convince me that Earth is for spiritual development until every single child involved in trafficking or pornography is, is not in that line of field. Children getting no it isn't peter it is not that's the old spiritual bullshit that's not what it, this is because in order for it to be about spiritual development that's what they say it is none of us are dead we don't really know so you could be right but until they stop to you need to explain to me the spiritual development of an eight month old being raped and sodomized and dying from their wounds with their heads being bashed in. I need to understand that because otherwise I don't believe this planet is for that. I need to understand that somebody who's more spiritual than me, please explain that to me. That child, that fucking child that's raped and murdered, okay, and his head beaten in, please tell me what the lesson from God is in that, because that is not of God. That is of the beast system. That is the devil's playground. That is Satanism. That is people who believe it's okay to fuck your dog, fuck a sheep, fuck a camel, fuck a cow, and then fuck your eight-month-old. That is not of God. That's not developing anything or anyone. No soul is developed from that. That I don't believe that. They want us to think that. They want us to think that everything is about a lesson here. The lesson here is you, if you have a child, your child will probably be molested or raped. Your child will be prostituted or sold drugs, become an addict or an alcoholic, basically do terrible things to people around them because of this planet, period. So this is hell. Yes, karma is a trap. There you go. There you go. The 11th house mystic. There you go. That I believe. And again, I'm going to say it. Until the rape of children stops, you will never convince me that God put a hand, put us here in order to have us. 
Yes, Jesus Christ is the Lord of karma, but this is not karma that's going on here. Nobody said raping a child is karma. That is not how karma works. <laughs> that's not how karma works. This is a beast system planet. That is not karma. Child, listen, even if you're the worst piece of shit, Charles Manson, who was a mind-controlled, weaponized human being by the CIA and the government, all right, Anyway, even if you are Charles Manson, you are, you know, Jeffrey Dahmer, also a mind control humanized weapon. Any of these people, if you are reborn into a baby's body and your memory is wiped and you are raped, you need to explain to me why that would be a good karma because that's not how karma works. I do not know how karma works, but I guarantee you that's not of God. Just think about it for a second. That's not of God to hurt children. That's not of God. No, Jason is not talking to me. Um, that is not, I mean, he's not not talking to me. I guess he's just busy. I don't believe in reincarnation. I know we reincarnate. I know that for a fact, but I think it's a trap. I think it's a trap. I don't think we're supposed to reincarnate. I think we've been tricked into thinking we're supposed to reincarnate. Karma from your last life. Please explain to me when you're a tiny itty bitty baby getting raped why that karma would make you remember what you did in a past life when you have no fucking memory. You don't remember what you did in the past life. So, yes, Hinduism, but karma still doesn't work that way. Wayfair was a trafficking, obviously. Um, God would never do that to children. That's what I'm saying. This is not of God down here. We're here. We are of God, but this is not of God. Yeah, babies are innocent. So why would God rape babies? He wouldn't. This is demons doing their demonic shit. Like trying to pass off Barbara Bush in her conversation about fetus in a jar, hidden in plain sight. That's a ritual. Firstborn child in a jar on the thing. What doctor gives you your fetus to take home? Please tell me because I'm confused. I can't even get my teeth to take home anymore, okay? Okay. Not that I'm pulling my teeth, but you understand. So, I mean, come on now. Yes, yes, exactly. We God has been there for you, but this planet is not God's. So there's a distinct Satan's playground, 100%. He doesn't want to go with me, but thanks for saying. <laughs> Remember, my kids had to be paid to go to dinner with me. Also a lesson on earth. Um... No, Barbara Bush is not my mentor. Barbara Bush is a transgendered man, woman, I don't know how you word it, who was filmed, I know, I know, me too, who was filmed, okay, talking on Larry King Live about fetus in a jar. That was when we were asleep and we were like, huh, interesting. What the hell are you talking about? She's talking about a ritual. And we didn't realize it. Need to see spirit work in matter. Well, probably. Yeah, maybe karma died. Exactly. Uh-huh. Yeah, of course. Of course. It's all, it's, a person ran over my cat. Yeah, the person that ran over your cat can use more time on this earth. Yes, I know. Exactly. It's not God. That's, that's, it's not God over evil. That's what I'm saying. As you keep knocking this over. Thank you for that. When do you feel this? I don't feel this crap's going to be over. I mean, we'll be dead. I'm not coming back. There's no fucking way I'm coming back here. You can tell me. I don't believe I even volunteered. I believe I was kidnapped. And I'm going to keep saying that. I rebuke <laughs> all ideas that I picked to come here. I did not pick to come here. Yeah. Did not. Earth is a prison. I believe it's a prison plan. I don't know why we are here. I don't understand the ins and outs. And what it could be is, yes, karma is a judgment. I know the way they do it. Um, yes, it must be rich people shit. Exactly. But here's the thing. I think what we need to understand is maybe we are on a planet with a bunch of non-human beings. And that's why it's so confusing to us. So yeah, Christ consciousness all the way right here. Exactly. Prison planet, 100%. All right. Well, this was my depression episode. I'm going to say it again. 
to Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, any other social media platform, okay, TikTok. If you can't remove child porn, then don't remove conversations about the vaccine, rape, sexual assault, sexual abuse of children, child porn. If you can't remove it, we're going to keep talking about it. So like, be aware of that. That's what we're going to fucking do until you fucking ban it from the internet. Otherwise you're okay with it. Then we're going to speak about it. This is going to happen. Yeah. Okay. This has been your... This has been your depression episode. I think I got to go eat some mangoes, y'all. Okay, bye, you guys. Okay, uh, let's see. Could it be angels again? Well, it's something against something. Human beings against demons is what I think it is. I think it's human beings against demons. That's really, there's a few angels, but the rest of us are human beings, and we are fighting a spiritual war. So until the government agencies and everybody can get child porn off the internet, don't you dare censor my voice. In the name of Jesus, amen. Do not fucking censor. That's the Queen's wave, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Bye, you guys. <laughs> oh.